Oh, enemies get assists too. Interesting. My dear spider! Is he gonna get another? Oh, thank the lord. Fire breath takes him out. Let's do it! And that's all she wrote! Here, I deny him any way of actually getting to my backside. So all he's able to do is get to my side. The reason why you screwed up is because now you're in a place where both of us can attack. Well, uh, this is awkward. Good on. Just, uh, go ahead. Right here. Yeah. Oh, Venom <laughs> You hurting the bestest, boy! Hey. Like your cut, G. Let's finish this Labraman. Hey. We got stamina crystal, boost seeds, the guard break that we got from that chest. Hell yeah! Finally! We did it! That was some enemy! But you and Labramon did a great job, Agumon. This sort of thing's no problem. Not if it's to save Aoi! Spider webs are vanishing before our eyes. Is it because we beat Dokugumon? Best then the gym is disappearing too. It must be happening across the entire school. <laughs> oh, what about Aoi? You're right. We can't just be standing around. Takuma! <laughs> Everyone else has collapsed too! I would like to assume that freaking Ryo just is, has fainted somewhere in the area. Hidoru, are you okay? Man, I'm shaking like a leaf! Thanks a bunch, Takuma. Good to see you guys fighting out there. A coward like me can't do a dang thing in the real world. Huh. What are you saying? I was barely hanging on back there. <laughs> Pathetic. Don't go causing trouble for the rest of us. How you say? <laughs> oh! Thus protests imply he was actually concerned for our well-being. As if! Thank you! Indeed. You apologize for making you worry. Oh yeah, where's Aoi? We have to save her! Aoi! Aoi! Say something! Uh, Abraman, you... you saved me? Thank you. So much. This is the second time. What are you saying? You saved me, right? Back. Didn't you? Takuma, 
Akuma. Agumon! Agumon! Thank you for fighting with me! Akuma-kun. You rescued me, didn't you, Takuma? Standing up to such a frightening creature! Thank you! Truly! You've become so reliable, haven't you? <laughs> well, I mean... I mean, no! I couldn't do it alone! Abramon and Agumon were right there with me! My boy freaking Kunamon is getting the shaft! What the hell, Takuma? Pokemon was amazing! That sudden spike in power was just incredible! Kunamon did a lot of legwork too! He has... One, two... Does he have eight legs? How many legs does Kunamon have? Oh no, is he a spider? Oh yeah, about that. That's the second time you've changed shape. What the heck is that? Oh yeah! I got no clue! It's like some kind of super power up. If my ears didn't deceive me, I believe Agumon was able to evolve. Reaction to severe environmental changes. That is, because of that vicious battle. Evolving, huh? Have any idea how you pulled that off, Agumon? I really don't. But if I had to guess, Takuma's feelings must have flowed into me. Wanted to live up to Takuma's feelings. That's what made me evolve. So in other words, my willpower? Wrong feelings caught it cause evolution? Seems like the source of this power is the bond you share. That makes you partners. Partners! I like the sound of that! Oh, arms of the heart. I can't say I get the logic, but I kind of understand. Okay, should we get out of here? Everyone must be exhausted. That's what I'm talking about. Let's head somewhere we can take a breather. Right, like we're walking. And the school's still dirty. Now then, we put the beat down on that humongous spider thing. I did! And Kunamon! And Labramon! Don't forget about Betamon! We leave the smack down on that humongous spider thing! Now the spider webs have disappeared! Webs aren't supposed to do that. Get the stuff spun by that mutant ain't normal, huh? Gugumon's not the only weird thing. Something about this school isn't right. It ain't just the school. There's no way the area outside should have changed like that. Where the heck are we? Hmm. Takuma! I'm pooped. Evolution takes a lot out of a Digimon, as so the anime dictates. Me too. I'm so tired. You didn't even evolve, so technically it's just the fact that we're all just ridiculously tired after a stressful day's work. All of this warrants contemplation, but perhaps we should retire for the day? Good idea. Let's call it a day, guys. Say what? You're gonna sleep here? I admit it bothers me too, but today has done a number on us. I'm too tired to even move. Yeah, think about her, why don't you? Going outside in the dark would be too dangerous. Other creatures may be out there. Ah, uh, gotcha. But we don't got anywhere else to go. Not in love with the idea, but I guess we're bunking here for the night. You've got to be kidding! This place is haunted, right? I can't freaking sleep here! And where do you plan on sleeping, exactly? I'll, uh... Well... Hmm... At any rate, it's been quite a day. I'm both mentally and physically exhausted. My brain feels like mush, man! I have no grasp of what's going on. Still can't believe this is reality. What does it matter if you believe or not? It's happening right in front of us. It's just... 
There's just too many unknowns here. Can't get everything straight in my head. What do you think we should do, Ryo? Just shut up. You guys do whatever you want. You got nothing to do with me. Sheesh. All right, let's think about tomorrow when tomorrow comes. I'm completely bushed. Right. Let's rest here for the evening. How are we supposed to rest after all this? Are you kidding me right now? Is there like a nurse's office? Those, those would be some pretty comfy beds. You guys saw them too, right? The ghosts? Oh, whoops. Forgot about those kids from the music room. What should I do? Everyone's so tired. Maybe I should go get them myself. Ghosts, you say? How do you describe them? I didn't see any in that spider's den. Maybe you mistook some of the monster's webs for ghosts? Yeah, that makes sense. They were all over the place after all. That was the Kugumon, not a monster. I mean, it was pretty much a spider monster. But yeah, there must be some explanation for this whole ghost business. Maybe I'm just freaking myself out. Um, about that. Uh, um, it's... Have you getting all flustered about Ryo? If you got something to say, spit it out! Hey now, that's not cool. Just because he's freaking out, that doesn't mean you... No, that's not it, you stupid. Behind you. Look behind you. Huh? Who the hell? Oh. Uh. <laughs> I am the main character! Fear me! <laughs> Come on, they're all just... When they saw those two for the first time, they screamed and fell to the floor. That's one way to go to sleep! Seeing two ghosts right after that tense situation. Of course they'd be shocked. I quickly explained everything. They were still shaken up. Howie in particular. He's afraid of ghosts. He must explain such crucial matters properly! I tried. Boy was she pissed. Seeing the normal calm girl erupt in anger showed us just how scared she was. Well, uh, at any rate, everyone's safe. That's good, right? might have said this back then. I was gripped by unease and doubt. Where in the world are we? Others with us, Saki, Uji, Aito, Miu, and the Professor. Are they safe? Agumon, Falcomon, and the rest. What are they? How has that ghostly pair, Haru and Miyuki, survived in this world? Nothing but questions since I woke up. Even the situation we're in is a mystery. Did we even get back to where we were in one piece? I'll tell you right now. I left everything I own in one piece. It's at home waiting for me. I need to get home. At that moment, as if feeling my concern, Pokemon called out to me. It's okay, Takuma. I'll protect you. He's such a good mon. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Does that mean that, uh, those two... Does that mean that Renamon and Gabumon are technically their Digimon? Can we get Omnimon? Frick, man. I don't know. I don't know. How did I respond to that again? It seems I drifted off to sleep all of a sudden. Agumon's kind words. His pledge to protect me in this potentially fatal situation. When I heard them. I felt relief from the bottom of my heart. I think this is probably... Maybe the darkest that Digimon has ever, like, gotten. And there have been some pretty dark things when it comes down to Digimon. Um, 
Digimon, the fourth season, when the humans could turn into the Digimon, I know that, like, I think the Darkness Brother had some pretty effed up crud going on with him. Pretty dark crud, too. But, like, I don't think that, like... I mean, I, I don't know. A lot of other, like, characters have been put into, like, somewhat nearly fatal positions, but... I don't think to, like, this level where, like, everyone's alone, scared, hunted, near the brink of death. I don't really think that many of the games really explore that either. How dark the digital world technically can be. Which it can be! Just don't see it all too often. What the heck's going on? I've been walking for hours! Um, Professor, I hate to say it, but are we lost? Well, I'm afraid you might be right. It's strange. I've been to this shrine countless times, yet I've never seen these trees before. Whatever might this strange flora be? Just look at all this mist. You think it's making us go around in circles? No way. Even a child could get around this area in an hour. Don't tell me. Are we, like, stuck here somehow? Like, for reals? Indeed. Normally impossible conjecture, but we have lost consciousness. Getting stuck is certainly odd. If it has occurred, there must be a reason. Also, actually, I never thought about it, but Ryu, Ryo made it to the school. He made it to the school without Kunamon. What's the deal with that? A reason? Like what? This is just a theory. Or perhaps we inhaled some sort of noxious gas. No way! You're freaking me out! It would explain a loss of directional sense. It would certainly explain why we're stuck. When I awoke, I was standing alone in a grove of trees, surrounded by red spider lilies. That's when I heard you and rushed over. You remember anything before we met. Uh, my memories are definitely fuzzy. And there's this weird fog. What's going on? Well, you all came to do research, yes? I believe looking for this reason counts. They're not even part of our study group! Oh, I've had it! I just want to go home! We still have to get back to the campgrounds first. Home is even farther away than that! Now ain't the time for splitting hairs! Man, my legs are stiff as a board already! And I say now's no time to start whining! Those legs of yours are your only way out of here! Thanks for the lesson, Captain Obvious. It's not like I asked you to carry me or anything. Oh no, this is a waste of energy. Here, Saki. I'll carry you if you'd like. I... I'll pass. Thanks. That's right, you will. You shouldn't be saying things that upset the professor. For that matter, professor, you shouldn't coddle her. And I suggest you lead by example, instead of simply childing her with ears to listen. At any rate, it's only the three of us here. We have no one to rely on but each other. Yeah, I guess that's true. Hey, where did Aoi and the others go? I'm you, was with them too. Wait. You hear that? There shouldn't be any bears in this region. It could have been a monkey. Or maybe a boar? At any rate, best to remain vigilant. Oh, we got some running going on. Looking around. 
You see them. Over here, Lapman! <laughs> My girl! La man, la man, la man! A lot of my favorite Digimon are here. I, uh, actually, have we seen Floramon recently? I don't think Floramon was in um Cyber Sleuth, was she? Of course, Lopmon is the one I'm talking about, my girl. You know. Hold up, I'm checking Floramon. Okay, seems like Flora is a. Oramon is definitely another one of the uh, Digimon, like Kunamon, who haven't been in an, in an actual game since Dawn and Dusk. So it's good, to, it's definitely good to see Floramon come back. Even as I'm not as excited as I am for her as I was with Kunamon, it's always good to see a returning Mon. Heck, seven years. Holy jeez. Is, is that a, is that an animal? What in the world? You guys are... I can only do so many girl voices. Holy jeez. I can't... I can't... I'm not a girl. I, I'm not familiar with doing female voices. I could technically do one of the very first female voices I ever did on the channel... However, I want to keep away from that. She is her own beautiful... Nope, nope, you you go back. Stop that. Don't come back to haunt me. <laughs> huh? Oh, Professor. You ever heard of a creature like this? <gasps> ah! Squee! <laughs> oh, you're so cute. What is it? I can't believe my eyes! Wait, don't tell me! Is this one of those legendary Kemonogami things, is it? A Kemonogami? That's impossible! Those things can't really exist! Unbelievable! They really... Um, I... Hello, Mr. Kemonogami! Hey! Don't approach it so carelessly! I just thought it might understand words! That's all! Yeet! Oh, what the? Oh no! I think they might be dangerous! Yeet! It's coming over here! Shoo! Shoo! We're being chased by them! They're freaking scary! Yeah. Oh no! Look out, Sucky! Oh! He's dead! He's an old man that just got hit by a rock monster! He dead! Yikes! Professor! Oh no! Professor! He, he protected me! Yeah, there's a bunch of them! We have to save the professor! The monsters are swarming him! Just stay away! Don't worry about me! Just run away! But... We're in trouble if we stick around here! Shuji! Go on! Now! Professor! Dang it! Hey! Come on, Suji! We gotta get out of here! Let's go, Saki! Huh? Come on! Just run! <laughs> Professor! No! It's fine. It's up to us adults to protect the future. The rest is in your hands. Shuji! Wait, Shuji! We can't just leave him! We can't let his sacrifice be in vain! Let's get out of here. Bro really left the man to die. I mean, not much that he could have technically have done. There were a bunch of them, and they had two Digimon that didn't seem like they were well-suited to fight. So, if anything... 
he shouldn't feel bad because he's doing what he thought was right at the time. They could have tried and fight, but who? I don't even know how many there technically were. It's not like the game actually decided to show me. Like, when they were like, oh, there's a bunch of them now, it could have just been four. Could have just been four. You got two Digimon right there. You could technically have fought them, maybe. You got a Florimon who is technically a, you know, nature type against a rock type, and maybe that would have been good to fight. Typing still kind of elude me in this game. Just went to sleep like this yesterday? Come on, show us sleeping pictures. They're all still asleep, it seems. Yesterday must have been really tiring. Let me get some air. Takuma! Takuma! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa. Oh, it's just Agumon. Don't sneak up on me like that. I saw you get up and followed you! What were you up to? Nothing special. It's just that yesterday was pretty intense. Just wanted to go camping and this rock creature attacked us. Gotsuman! Yeah, Gotsuman attacked. Got away. This ghoul was a spider creature's lair. Gokuguman! It was all so confusing. I couldn't keep up with it. See, like, I feel like this is, like, more natural than, like, you know, any other Digimon game lets it, lets it believe, you know? Like, I will argue that, you know, at least with Cyber Sleuth, the Digimon hacking program has been around for a while. So it's not so odd that our character probably got used to one that fast. After all, data programs and whatnot. Uh, I believe that uh, Digimon World 3, you know, we've all been, they've been with like Digimon for a while. One should be kind of an exception because I think the main character was kind of warped there, but he was a child. So technically being in that situation is less likely to be like this. But it's still very dangerous. Really? I thought you did great! And Dawn and Dusk, you know, same exact thing with uh, World 3, where Digimon just seems to be a part of everyday life. It was touch and go. Haru helped me save everyone who was captured. <laughs> Must have been a shock, even though they weren't monsters. What could we do? Heck, I was surprised when I met you two. We were exhausted yesterday. There's a lot to think about. Think about? Like what? Well, keeping everyone safe, I would say. Let's start with how to protect ourselves. Others like Dokugumon could attack again. Yeah, there's other dangerous ones. Need somewhere to rest quietly. The school would have been perfect, but... We also need to figure out food and shelter while we wait for the professor. Hmm. Takuma! You okay? <sighs> Not coming up with anything. Let's ask everyone. You got it! Let's do that! Let me save. It's been a while. <sighs> Morning, Minoru. Back at you, Takuma! I somehow developed a combination of Minoru with Agumon! <clears throat> Back at you, Takuma! Oh, it wasn't a dream, huh? Looks like it. I figured I'd wake up by now. We slept like babies after everything yesterday. Tell me about it. What a day. Man, looking around again in the daylight, this place has definitely seen better days. Okay, I'm gonna try seeing what happens if I press pause. Oh! I can save whatever the hell I want. We'll continue a little more. 
We fought against monsters yesterday. Tell me about it! Indeed! This is real. Good morning, Takuma. Inoru. Hey, Aoi! Morning! Good morning, Aoi. Did you sleep well? I did. I felt a little tired, but my head has finally cleared. That's good to hear. Yeah. Hey! Ryu! You sleepy head! Shut up! How am I supposed to sleep? We're all out like lights! How could you even sleep after all this? Well, you were in the classroom that whole time, and kept fainting. Say that again! Now that everyone's awake, we should put our heads together and think about the next step. Yeah, with everything that went on yesterday, we were too tired to do anything but sleep. Hey, wait. Who died and made you the boss, Takuma? Yeah, what he said! Why are you taking his side, Akuman? This sort of thing is better left to the older kids. Howie, Ryu, you're up. You treat me with respect now, of all times. I mean, to be honest, I... It ain't gonna make any difference, is it? That's Ryo for you. Guess last night's events didn't help. I ain't got the time or the inclination to lead you losers around. Oh, Kunimon's sad. Yeah, that sounds about right. Guess that leaves you, Owie. I'm afraid I also like what it takes to be a leader. But you're so serious. What does that have to do with anything? But Owie, you're not just serious. You're also nice. You'd be a great leader. Don't overestimate me. You know, now I'm full of anxiety. Seriously, what's going on? Think about it. A group of children went missing overnight? You would expect this to cause a major uproar, and yet... Oh, I get what you're saying. You expect them to send out a helicopter or something. We've been spirited away, technically. It's already morning, but there's no sign of a search party. This is just too strange. Not stuck on some mountain or something. We're in a school. Isn't it weird there's no one else around, though? Everyone else has disappeared. You're not making me feel any better. I'm just telling it like it is, right? Look, even our phones are out of service. What the heck? Did the world just end or something? That ain't the case. Stick a fork in us, because we're done. Think some disaster occurred? Explain why it ain't looking for lost kids. Stop it. I'm begging you. I'm just saying! Look around! You weren't out that long, and the school's all messed up. Whole landscape changed too. Stuff like this doesn't exactly happen every day. Maybe we ended up in some parallel world? Or like, traveled through time? Maybe somebody fired off some super weapon. That'd explain the school and everything. Wait! That can't be it. This place looks more run down than blown up. Ow! And this is all so cool! Don't you think? Are you listening at all? Is your brain broken or something? I'm actually agreeing with Ryo. What were those creatures last night? I can't believe I'm still agreeing with Ryo! I hate to say it, but they kind of reminded me of those little guys. Don't you think? I am still agreeing with Ryo! Of... Us? All we can say for sure is that everyone's gone. The school is buildings and ruins. The area around here is completely different for some reason. The fog around here makes it impossible to figure out what's going on. The fog is apparently too dangerous to touch. Not apparently! It's really dangerous! So you say. And to top it all off, all those weird things are crawling around out there. Who's a weird thing? Well then, what are you exactly? We're us! And they're them! That doesn't explain anything! That's right! I can't explain anything! 
Why are you talking so confidently? Pokemon, what do you think? Hey? Seriously? You're not getting anywhere over here. Very well. Let's see. I can't say that we have no doubt about our own existence. Still, it's clear that our world is separate from the world of you humans. So this really is a parallel world! I'm not sure what you mean. I admit that our situation is weird, but we can't be sure that this is a different world. If this is a different world, then where did this human building come from? Now oh, that... Hmm... Maybe the building got transported to... Then wouldn't the school be in the same condition instead of falling apart? It looks like the building where we set up camp, but I think this one is different. This is a mystery to me too. Hills, trees, rocks, ocean, and rivers. Like these natural formations, the building just suddenly appeared one day. So I heard. Heard? From who? And how? I am not sure. Perhaps it was some divine being? Or one of my brethren with such powers? Please ignore that little oops I did. Either way, I cannot say for sure. The residents of this world possess various powers and forms. Entities of terrible strength. Home weak and frail. Capable beings. Helpless creatures. You know, this actually puts the Digimon in a very funny light, you know? Because thinking about it, there is no technical reason for them to clump them all together as Digimon. They just know that they are Falcomon, the Kugumon, uh, Agumon, and all that. They just know who they are and what they need, what they basically do. So, there's no real reason for them to be like, Yeah, we're Digimon! Because they don't really know what they are. Does the anime ever specifically state that they are called Digimon? Or was that coined by, like, one of the kids? You're like a digital monsters. A Digimon! No? Like, here, we don't know that we're in a digital world. We don't know anything about this area, you know? So, it makes sense for the Digimon to not know that they are digital programs. They just think, you know, that they are what they are. It's very interesting, because, yet again, I don't think that this is really ever explored. It's very interesting. Somebody. But you're saying one of your kind could have made this. One could have built it to resemble a human building or transported it from our world. I do not know. All I can say is that there is much variation amongst those who live here. Some are capable of speech and compromise. Others are frenzied and incapable of either. What's more, humans are considered nothing more than fairy tales amongst our kind. In truth, we're the first I've ever met. And yet, it has been said, actual human children would appear, capable of drawing out our true power. Oh, that sounds like... Yeah, the story of the Kemonogami. This the truth behind those stories? That might explain the transformation of Agumon as he fought Dokugumon. Why did Agumon suddenly change shape and power up like that? Uh, beats me! Hmm. Maybe an external force? Contact with humans? Triggered a sudden mutation? Elective mutation. A sort of instant, instinctive evolution. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah, I'm amazing. I guess. Hmm. This is only natural for us. Never struck me as anything special. Of course, there may be more to our evolution. But we don't know how children are involved. Some of our kind would use such power to destroy the world. Others to save it. 
others would take human children and, uh, perhaps we should avoid such subjects. For now, this is all I can tell you about our existence. I am ashamed I could not provide you with the clear answer you wanted, Midori. Ah, man, that was more than enough. Enough? We still have no clue what's going on! It's like saying we don't know anything, so anything's possible. What a load of garbo! Don't listen to comments from the peanut gallery, Falcomon. If you say so, Minoru. And yet, what really happened? Uh... Hey, how are the others are awake? Whoa! Look at the chicken. He's still scared of her. Come on now. He's still technically older. Technically. That's harsh, Takuma. Just shut up already. Oh, there he goes. Haru and Miyuki might know something. Head back and decide what to do next. Is that okay with you, Falakoman? Yes! Understood. I believe we should continue our talk inside the school building. Wouldn't you say? Now we're all gathered here today. Morning. Oh, good morning. Wait, why are we being so polite to little kids? Morning. Ah. Good day, my lady! Isn't that how you always talk to girls? I'll have you know I'm a gentleman! Um, Yuki, was it? Morning. Sorry for mistaking you for a ghost yesterday. No worries. Didn't bother me. Hmm. And Rio! Oh, are you still scared? Guess those two still weird him out, huh? He screamed and fainted, so yeah. Did faint after all. Not exactly hiding it. Looked at him staring at them from over there. Oh, good morning, you two. Did you get any sleep? Yeah. Yeah. Here they go again. They have the same wavelength or is she just parroting him? I see. Well, let us know if you need anything, okay? You gotta stick together. Thank you. We appreciate the sentiment. And oh, that's that's a big word for a girl your age, isn't it, Miyuki? I always always consider it, but I guess she has some trouble with her people like this. Please don't worry about her. It's been like this for a while now. I see. She went through a terrifying ordeal. I was able to protect her, but ever since, a terrifying ordeal. I don't remember. Man, I don't know what happened. It must have left some deep scars on that. Poor thing. One wrong move. Same could have happened to us. I hadn't met Agumon and the others. I shudder to think what would have happened. It was supposed to be just a fun camping trip. Why'd it have to turn out like this? Moving on! Is there anything else you wish to discuss? Let's see. Oh yeah, what's up with that fog outside? I told you, it's dangerous. You shouldn't get too close. Who knows what happens to those who breathe it in. It's like they disappear without a trace. Oh, maybe we can make it back to our world if we go into that fog then. No, you can't. Just don't. You really shouldn't. They're right. Trial and error could lead to irreversible consequences. Indeed. You're not safe for certain, but my instincts speak to the potential threat. Well, it was the fog that made us pass out and got us lost in the first place. I've all experienced that, that. I don't know what it is, but it definitely is dangerous. Okay, so now we got a little bit of a selection going on, but we're going to call it here. I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Because I know I'm enjoying this as much as I possibly can. So with that also being said, you know, thinking about Kunamon and 
Floramon and Penguinmon and all the other Digimon that haven't shown up in games as of late. I'm pretty sure I probably already stated this in um at least Cyber Sleuth. But is there any other old Digimon that you definitely hope made it into this game or hope that they'll make it into the next? Go ahead and let me know in the comments down below. Need to be doing more of those, honestly. Either way, thank you all for watching, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Be safe, eat well, eat great. Goodbye! Bye-bye! 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 Bye-bye!